There are racial disparities in maternal and infant care in New Jersey, and today the state put more money into tackling that problem. The New Jersey Commission of Science, Innovation, and Technology, along with the NJEDA, are establishing a $750,000 grant program. Grants will be awarded to New Jersey-based early-stage companies to help spur the development of products and services that support pregnant women and their infants. Earlier this year, the state launched a maternal innovation health center in Trenton, at that time saying that New Jersey ranks 47th in the nation for maternal deaths and has one of the widest racial disparities for both maternal and infant mortality. Even before COVID-19, health care providers have been facing worker shortages in New Jersey. Governor Murphy's proposed new budget includes millions for workforce training, including $6 million for a program called NJ Pathways to Career Opportunities. It's a partnership the New Jersey Business and Industry Association has with county colleges. As healthcare reporter Lilo Stainton reports, the goal is to get more workers certified for healthcare jobs. So they can get in quickly, they can get certified quickly, theoretically, get into an entry level or mid level job. And then that there's also an actual pathway to advancement. This is something we hear over and over again that if you're a certified nursing aide or assistant, um, there's nowhere to go up. Um, so people cycle through these jobs. Holding on to those workers is key. The state forecasts more than 78,000 new health care jobs will be added by 2026. Another week of record high gas prices. In New Jersey, the average price per gallon is now about $4.62. That is higher than the national average. Gas prices are up 57 cents per gallon over the past month. Now, here's a look at how stock prices ended the day on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by the Chamber of Commerce Southern New Jersey. Working for economic prosperity by uniting business and community leaders for more than 150 years. Membership and event information online at chambersnj.com. And Riverview Jazz, presenting the Jersey City Jazz Festival June 4th and 5th. Event details, including performance schedules and location, are online at riverviewjazz.org.